Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. He said, As you go, heal the sick cast out devils as you go i am sending you say all authority exousia in heaven and on earth belongs to me he said therefore go don't just go alone go with that authority because you will need to do some of these things as you go god expects them to doubt your message so he says prove to them that my kingdom is superior by healing the sick cast out devils cleanse the lepers when you see someone and tell him about his life prophetic evangelism when you raise a sick person power evangelism there are different dimensions and is sending us to go hallelujah the hundred level students are coming and corporately as a house is our time of in gathering hallelujah we are going to be praying just before we start tonight we'll hold our hands together and pray in the spirit and say lord let there be a wind the power of the holy spirit go ahead and just play lord we thank you we receive souls. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Every Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. In the name of Jesus, we're invading it with the life, the power, the grace. There is a translation from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. Drunkards are becoming apostles. Prostitutes are becoming generals in the kingdom. Lord, we thank you, young and old, rich and poor, students and non-students. We are experiencing the power of God. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. We are well able. We are going in the authority of the king. As we go, we cleanse the lepers. We heal the sick. We cast out devils. We raise the dead. Go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, I tap into that dimension of wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask and now give the nations to you. Oh Lord. That's the cry of our heart. Peace and joy is at the tell you something until you are prepared for soul winning you will never experience certain dimensions of God's power hallelujah he said this sign shall follow as you go I remember in 2006 that was the first time we we're going to have a corporate crusade hallelujah we had a crusade in Plateau State didn't have an idea of what we we're going to face and when we got there I remember them telling us I think they met at Jimmy and said, you people came to preach here. The place, the venue they use for their traditional festival. That's where we said we wanted the crusade. They said we would not get it, but we finally got it. Hallelujah. And then when it was time to pray, we were not much. Two, two 18-seater buses. That was E and I then. Hallelujah. And when we got there, we began to preach. We began to preach. Then it was time for miracles. We had nothing except a word from God. You better hear God when you stand before those villagers. Hallelujah. They are not just young people that you can just deceive. Hallelujah. And then I called everyone. I said, the whole team, all of you just pick one person. And you better pray for a case that will need medical confirmation. Hallelujah. I'll never forget it, Jimmy. Let me tease him. 
he went to an elderly woman who had was it a swelling or something on her hand and with every ounce of of fear and faith mixed together he prayed for this woman and when she got healed you know elderly people they don't tell lies they tell you i'm not, I'm not healed though and then when she got healed and he confirmed he was so happy and he was so excited hallelujah we saw all kinds of miracles for some of us it was our first time of experiencing certain fearful levels of miracles hallelujah the blind see the deaf hear manifestations of the spirit hallelujah and these things will follow you they are signs hallelujah a sign points somewhere it's not an end in itself are you following me now so the anointing of the holy spirit empowers you for the ministry of signs and wonders to the end that the people will know that jesus is lord hallelujah so don't be afraid go and meet them and they say i have a challenge tell them in the name of the lord jesus i will pray for you you say lord if you embarrass me in this place i was minding my business all by myself no you have to take a step of faith i've always said it if you will ever pray for a dead body the first thing is to stand close to one hallelujah never forget my experience they called me to go and raise a dead man three days in the anatomy um you know the mortuary or what do they call it hallelujah and when i stepped in i saw several kinds several dead people i said which one he <laughs> says it's a who raise the dead when you see a real dead person hallelujah three days and um i laid my hands and i prayed i did everything i knew to do when i prayed three times three is enough in the spirit when it doesn't work after three times be sure it may not work hallelujah and i prayed for the person i prayed for the person i prayed for the person i told the people get me out of this place you didn't pay me i didn't kill the person hallelujah but then times will come when your shadows will raise the dead that's why god is preparing us how many of you believe that oh yes we are coming to that time when an accident will happen and you you perform more miracles unconsciously than you will do consciously hallelujah thank you jesus christ Yahweh Shout of the king is in our midst. 
the shout of victory, the shout of glory. The shout of victory. Go ahead and pray. Make up Ariada Bakaya. A shout that means I'm coming out of every challenge. It's a shout. And the shout of grace. And the shout of grace. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? It's a shout of victory. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I dwell in the house of the Lord. There's a reason why we shout in the spirit. There's a reason why we rejoice. We stir up the waters of the spirit. Because the Bible says whoever at the stirring of that water, whoever steps in will be healed. Oh, there's a stirring. We are not shouting for nothing. We are shouting because we know the one who can feed 5,000 men with five loaves and two fish. The one who transforms our lives, causing us to know more of him. There is no one. Be blessing and honor and glory and power forever. Be your blessing and honor and glory and power forever. Hear me. I don't know about you. But I know God is not wasting his time building me. I know that there is something. There is the ability of the spirit at work in me. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, far above all that we think. He said, according to the power from the Greek word energes, the energy, the energizing of the spirit that worketh in us. We are not ordinary people. God is training us, building us by his word. Let me tell you something I don't know about you, but I am convinced that resident in me is an ability. The power of the spirit of God. To cause change, to build, to bless, to change, to transform my world. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought to the obedient obedience of Christ. He's transforming everything, transforming everything. He's renewing everything in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ, in obedience to Christ. The sorry sea who comes in the name of our God. The sorry sea who comes. The city, the
the eyes of men to open and the ears of many for you step into a season that you will not say at the spirit of the Lord I am causing the hand of the great to walk upon great parts the Lord says I'm causing the hand of the great to walk upon for it shall be a season like none other say at the spirit of the Lord it shall be a season like none other, said the Spirit of God. It shall be a new season. I open up new portals. I cause you to walk in great paths. I cause crooked paths to become straight, say at the Spirit of God, because you're learning of my ways. Because you're learning of my ways. Because you're learning of my ways. I cause the coal of fire to come upon your tongue, that you speak the mysteries of the kingdom. I cause the coal of fire to come upon your tongue, that you communicate the counsel of the Father. For I will teach you wisdom, say at the Spirit of the Lord. For I will teach you wisdom, and I will cause you to walk in my way, say at the Spirit. For I will teach you wisdom. I will teach you wisdom. I will teach you wisdom. Have I not said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death? I will teach you wisdom, and I will cause you to walk in my precept, my precept. I will teach you wisdom, the path of wisdom, the path of glory. I step in teaching you wisdom, causing your ears to hear and to behold, stepping into new dimensions. For I teach you wisdom. Say at the Spirit of the Lord. First as a seed, and then it spreads, says the Spirit of the Lord. Springs from For I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. I cause men to walk in new realms of my glory. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears I give unto men. The seeing eyes and the hearing ears I give unto men. It is by my spirit, and for this season, the seeing eyes and the hearing men, yes, I give unto men. When you learn of my ways, and I teach you my precepts, I will glorify you. Say at the Spirit of God, when you foreordained, predestinated, glorify you. Bible says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus.
Aparianda Gabaya. Liko Proske Barian Taktus in Mahadiana Kabas. Randa Gabarato Zovagadia La Mosia. For it comes speedily. It comes speedily, say the Spirit of the Lord. The manifestation of the things that I've spoken unto you. In this season, I cause an acceleration. It comes speedily by the Spirit. Those things that I've spoken unto you. The communications of the night times, they are the Spirit of God. It comes speedily. The communications of the night time, say at the Spirit of the Lord, I cause it to come speedily. The communications of the night time, say at the Spirit of the Lord, I cause it to manifest speedily. By grace, by grace, that's what I hear in the Spirit. By grace, by grace, by grace. By grace. Hallelujah. When you learn of the ways of the Spirit, you are built and equipped, trained and empowered, and you will begin to function as though you are a God in the earth. Psalms 82 verse 1, it said God stands in the congregations of the mighty and he speaks to them. Then he says, know ye not that ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. He said they know not, neither do they understand. They walk in darkness. He said the earth is out of course. Koinonia is a place where we learn the ways of the spirit. For Job said there is a path where the eyes of the vulture has not seen. There is a place where the feet of the lion has not trodden upon. And when God brings us into these realities in the spirit, causing us to comprehend the things of the spirit, the knowledge that you have in the spirit is the authority that you will command in this way. That's what the Holy Ghost is communicating unto me. I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. Rise up mighty men. I have said ye are gods. Say at the spirit of the Lord. Have I not said ye are gods? Rule. Rule. Take charge. Subdue. Take territories. Say at the spirit of the Lord. I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods, gods to the system, gods to the system, I'm saying. Hallelujah, hallelujah, listen to me. One of the greatest tragedies in the church is that we do not understand the ways of the spirit. Hallelujah. We have many ways. We have many methods to do different things. Hallelujah. But there is a way. The Bible is speaking. Jesus speaking to Nicodemus. He said the wind bloweth where it listed. You cannot tell where it's going and where it's coming. He says so is one who is led of the spirit. He said for as many who will allow themselves to be under the governing influence of the spirit. He says such are the sons of God. The Greek word here is weos. Those who by reason of knowledge have attained the same status with their father. The ways of the spirit. The Bible is not just a religious information teaching us to know about the stories and the history and walk in it. There you will find rest. The rest is when you find the ancient path. There are paths, brothers and sisters, pathways in the spirit that lead men to greatness, that lead men to power, that lead men to insight, to wisdom, the communication of the spirit. But until we search and then we are diligent enough to allow the Holy Spirit to bring us revelation. Paul said for this course, Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17. I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus. That he will grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being flooded with light. That you will comprehend. 
spiritual mysteries when the eyes of your understanding is flooded with light you will see where men do not see you will walk where men will not walk for he will give you light that will rule in the day and light that will rule in the night he said he made many lights but then he made two great lights and one to rule in the day one the other to rule in the night Lord, we ask for the parts of the Spirit. We don't just want to do religion. We ask for the parts of the Spirit. Show us the ways that will cause us to walk in greatness. Show us the ways that will cause us to walk in kingdom power and authority, legislating the council of the kingdom in the earth as it is in the heavens, representing him as true ambassadors of the government of our Father. That's why I say unto you, an heir, as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, Galatians chapter 4, though he be Lord of all, although by inheritance, his inheritance is royalty and greatness. He said, for as long as he's a child, he differeth not from a slave, but is under tutors and governors. Grant unto us knowledge, O God. Grant unto us knowledge that we will stop walking as men, men and begin to live as supernatural people hallelujah praise the lord god is furnishing us one of the goals of koinonia is that we understand the ways of the spirit there is a way that brings the anointing there is a way that brings wealth and glory there is a way that brings prosperity. There is a way that brings increase. There is a way that brings power. For until you understand the ways of the spirit, when you understand the ways of the spirit, you can align yourself. And then it will be done in only legislating the earth that which has been completed in the heavens. We do not try to initiate things that have not been established. This is the secret of victory in this realm. That it be done. Please represent access. I will give you access to the ways of the spirit. And by reason of that access, everything you bind in the earth would have been what has been bound in the spirit. The ability to stand in a position and legislate things across territory. As we stand in this atmosphere, we are not only receiving impartations of the Spirit, but our minds have been aligned and adjusted to His ways. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 says, I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He said, that is your reasonable act of worship, verse 2 says, and do not be conformed, do not pattern your mind after this world comes from the Greek word aeon, this age. He said, but be transformed. How? By the renewing. There has been a disalignment between heaven and the earth. And so the Holy Spirit brings us to a point of alignment so that it will be established in the earth the realities that are in the heavens. His ultimate agenda according to Colossians chapter 1 and Ephesians chapter 1 the universal counsel of God is that all things be headed up in Christ. And that the multifaceted dimension will be revealed in and through the church. This is why he's empowering us. So Lord, we thank you for your ways. Thank you for your word. We are not interested in just Bible stories and theological dissertations. We are interested in knowing the ways of the spirit for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom he said doth not wisdom cry she walks in the streets and cries he said get wisdom get wisdom exalt her and she shall promote thee he said she shall bring an ornament of glory upon thy head when thou dost embrace her in all thy getting get understanding and he says the entrance of thy word Give it light and understanding unto the simple. Lord, we ask for the ancient part. According to Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, Call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things. We pray that you cause our eyes to see great and mighty things. Hallelujah. I'd like us to pray tonight. 
But let's consider a scripture. Just sit down briefly. God bless you. The presence of God is very strong and mighty in this place. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 2. Someone with ulcer, I rebuke it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you came here with ulcer. Listen to me, it's gone now. We are not negotiating. I stand as touching the authority of the king of this kingdom. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that you are perfect. First Corinthians chapter 2. Bless us tonight, Lord. Verse 4. And my speech and my preaching were not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Verse 6. However, hmm. we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. The word perfect is mature. Yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the princes of this age that come to nothing. Seven. But we speak wisdom, the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages unto our glory. Which none of the princes of this age knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I had not seen. Hallelujah. Look up. Verse 9 tells us that there are things that God has prepared. Is that correct? It tells us that eye has not seen. Ear has not heard. It has not come into the comprehension of any man. What God has prepared. That means God has prepared something. Hallelujah. But for some reason, the ear has refused to hear and to understand the ways to access those things. The eye has refused to see. The heart has refused to understand. But he said there are things that are prepared. There are treasures. There are things in the spirit that have been prepared. But the Bible says something interesting. Let's read on. Verse 10. It says, but God has revealed them. Not to everybody. There are a class of people. That although eyes. They, there are things that God has prepared. And the ordinary people cannot see. The Bible makes us to understand that when David came from war with three of his servants, they went to the priest and they were asking for bread. And the priest told them something. He said, there is no ordinary bread. However, but there is a hallowed bread. The deep things of the spirit. The Bible says that these things have been in store. However, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not been revealed unto any man. Hallelujah. He said, but God has chosen. He, by, let's read on. Help us tonight, Lord. But God has revealed them unto us. How? By his spirit. So the, the spirit of God is the revealer of the secrets of God. There are secrets. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is the revealer of the secrets of God in the archives of the spirit there are th there are revelations there are patterns there are strategies for the victory of a believer but the bible makes us understand that eyes have not seen ears have not heard he said they have not even come to the comprehension of man's heart however there is a class of people that have dared to press and compel God to reveal to them these impossible things by the spirit and then he says something, and this is the basis of my message tonight. He says, for the spirit searches. The spirit has the ability to go to the treasury of God and find out where are those things that have been locked up in the scroll that will not be opened by ordinary people, that contain revelations and dimensions of authority and power and grace and insight. The Bible says there is something that a believer does that cause the Holy Spirit to start searching 
and the bible says when he searches he will find what the mind of god is and he has the ability to bring it back and communicate it to the believer hallelujah tonight i'm teaching us how to access the deep things of the spirit and the man stood in front of me and measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet and he measured a thousand cubits again and then it was to the knees and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to his chest he said and he measured a thousand cubits again and it was an overflowing river and he said wherever that river went to every fish that was dead would come alive he said the river flowed from the east side of the temple there are many spiritual mysteries that god's people are ignorant of and lack of pressing into these dimensions of knowledge has been the reason why we do not command the kind of authority that will give us access to be true ambassadors why will someone come and do something and then another person cannot do it and we serve the same god we believe the same god hallelujah that the access the insights the knowledge and the understanding you have is your strength the strength of a believer is not his physical muscle. The strength of a believer is the quality of truth. The pathways of the spirit that you have been able to understand. The ways of God. For when you know the ways of God, you will walk like a God in the earth. Has nothing to do with age. Hear me. Has nothing to do with gender. Has nothing to do with your denominational background has everything to do with your desire to press into more of him i began to seek the presence of god to seek the manifestation of his spirit and his power in my life 2005 hallelujah we were roommates and we will worship i would just stay on the keyboard and worship and he will play the guitar and the presence of God will come and fill the room. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, His awesome presence fills this room. That was our experience. And we began to press. And then the Lord began to show me His ways. I said, Lord, I'm tired of religion. I'm tired of church. I'm tired of deceiving myself with many scriptures in my head. But there's nothing in... How many of you are tired and really want to be making structural growth in the spirit? Hallelujah. There are many believers that have so many scriptures in their head. We have... I. I And so, my concept of spiritual growth is not how much you finish your Bible. My concept of spiritual growth is how much you understand the ways of God. You understand His principles and His precepts. How much you have come into alignment with the things of the Spirit. That you can reveal His glory. You can be a portal that opens up men to the realities of the Spirit. Paul prayed a prayer in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Let's look at it quickly and then we'll come back to Colossians and we'll come back to 1 Corinthians. The glory of the risen Lord verse 15, Ephesians 1 Wherefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and love all to all saints 16 cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you what the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him 18 oh this is our press tonight the eyes of your understanding flooded with light enlightened 
it will cause you to know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power so Paul is saying these things have been established in the spirit but he's praying and say Lord that you open their eyes that they will access the spirit of wisdom and revelation and tonight I want to share a simple secret with us and then we will pray for when you know how to access the secrets of the spirit friends you will reign in this life hear me you will not reign because you bear a Christian name. He said, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. The great man, Bishop Oyedeko, he said how that things were not working in his life at a point. And he decided to go on a word fast. He took the word of God and he went to encounter the spirit of wisdom and revelation. He climbed upon the mountain for three days, traveling and digging in the spirit. And there he found certain treasures. Hear me. Every man you see trailing the place somewhere has caught certain treasures in the spirit. For the proof that you have caught it is that there will be a ripple effect in this earth realm. And certain men out of their desperation for God have stumbled across certain treasures in the spirit. In their sincere quest for God, they stumbled across certain things that set them above. Are you listening to me? I studied the Bible for a major part of 2005. And I found out that the wisdom of God, the spirit of wisdom and revelation was necessary to reign and to rule in this life. And I began to pray. I said, Lord, you've got to give me this wisdom and revelation. Do something in me. Then the Lord led me to this verse. And he said, son, I will teach you how to tap into this. These are the exact words of God. The deep things of the spirit. Oh, for you don't find gold on the surface. How many of you agree with me? You don't find gold on the surface. You do business in the deep. For if you can access the deep things of the spirit, you will come up with treasures. But the Bible says there were two significant lights. And at their appearance, they had the capacity to overshadow every other light. Many of us have pockets of lights here and there. And here and there we are hitting and you know, trial and error, spiritual victory. However, when you touch the greater light, listen, when you touch the greater light, you will command victory victory hallelujah God showed me a light in his word concerning deliverance and casting out of devils when I caught that revelation that was the end of it I said I don't care what level I'm sorry to say not to insult anybody but I see people stand and sweat and pray and roll over demons and do all kinds of things and say, how many are left? And demon says, 18. Four hours he's crying. The Lord showed me a light. He showed me a light in his word. You see, when you stand to function, i like you to know that in the realm of the spirit, the Lord opened my eyes in a vision some time ago and I saw, I saw the spirits of men emitting lights. Are you following me now? Emitting lights. And I wondered, I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And he told me the degree of their illumination is equivalent to their understanding of spiritual things. And I saw some people emitting more light. Their spirits were emitting more light. In chemistry, we do it. You want to find out certain information about some compounds. What happens? You expose them to light. Light reveals. In the realm of the spirit, from the light you emit, I can know your spiritual level. Are you following me now? So when Jesus was transfigured, he showed us how his spirit man looked. Pure light. The Bible says he dwells in unapproachable light. And every time we press to be like him, we become that light. Hmm. 
and as we are changed into that light we begin to command the authority that that light brings that's the reason why someone can speak to a demon and say leave and the demon just looks and beats up the person and then another person passes unconsciously and the demon is crying let me tell you the difference is not their height the difference is the light that is illuminated in the spirit hallelujah and light means knowledge and so paul prays that our eyes be flooded with what light light that we come into the understanding of god's principles such that if i meet you today and your finances are in a wreck i should be able to stay with you and after two weeks i should be able to transmit a light are you following me now that will set you ablaze I follow me now when i step into a family and i find out that there is chaos what happens by spiritual understanding you know what principle and what pathway to take are you getting are you following me this is how to bless people you don't bless people by sympathizing with them you bless people by understanding the ways of god and introducing the patterns of the spirit to their lives Jacob understood the ways of God that would bring increase. And when he saw the animals of Laban, he applied a dangerous spiritual principle. I'm still trying to find it out till now. I've read that scripture again and again. I said, Lord, there is a key to prosperity that you must show me. What did Jacob see that made him carry a black stick, dropped it close to water, and made animals to begin to reproduce after what they were seeing? Hmm light in the spirit the increase and the expansion that we're experiencing by the grace of god in this ministry came as a result of light one day i was studying and i was studying a book by a man of god called dyke hayward mills and i found something interesting in scripture a simple greek word called anakazo the compelling power of the spirit an ability of the spirit that compels a man into the will of god jesus gave a parable he said the feast was ready but there were not enough people and he sends the servants to go and bring people and one said he just got married he has to be with his wife another person said he bought a property he has to see it hallelujah and then he said go and bring in all the lepers and the rest and he used the word jesus sent them in the parable he said go and compel them to come he used the word anakazo and the spirit of god brought that light friends the light you have and the understanding of god's ways is what will cause you to rule how many of you believe what i'm sharing is it making sense to you or am i just making noise so that your pursuit for spiritual growth will not just be haphazard there are many of us who our spiritual growths are not constructive yes you are doing devotion but what about the ways of god do you know today that you did not know last week that's the proof that you are growing hallelujah we stumbled across the spiritual principle of god that brings wealth and prosperity and he opened the eyes of our understanding to it by the spirit and even we cannot stop what the spirit of god is doing the miraculous we didn't always experience the miraculous but as we kept pressing into god we kept pressing into god i got angry and I told God, I said, Lord, I'm tired of headaches just being healed. How about creative miracles? Can those things happen? And then I had a dream. In the dream, I was teaching. And when I was teaching, I was telling them that there were body parts in heaven. And all of these things. And, and then a voice just sounded to me and said, Josh, you are not walking in any significant healing compared to the dimensions you should be walking in. And I was sad. I was really sad. And then the voice spoke in the dream. He said, you must find a scripture where I showed something about creative miracles. And then it will be released in your life. 
and then the Lord told me don't use Google don't use anything and the Holy Spirit gave me expo he said it's in the book of Psalms read Psalms you will stumble across something that David saw are you following me please are you getting blessed the Bible says Jacob went to a place. Did you know that where Jacob laid down, his father had anointed that place and made a covenant there. Little did he know. And so he stumbled to the place of the covenant and he laid down. Suddenly a portal was opened. And Jacob saw. He said that he was in a dream and he saw angels ascending. What is it about this place that made angels to be ascending and descending? and at the top of it was Yahweh himself and he gave him a revelation that he only would have gotten in the year King Uzziah died I Isaiah something happened Ezekiel chapter 1 the Bible says Ezekiel sat by the water brook and suddenly he was caught up in the spirit there are dimensions that will give us access to rule and to reign let's go quickly to share that one first corinthians help us lord help us lord so we have established from first corinthians look up please we have established from first corinthians that there are treasures that have been kept in store for us do we all agree do we all agree please help me hallelujah that there are treasures that have been kept for us the bible says eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not been revealed to the heart of man what god has kept but the Bible says there are a class of people that understood certain spiritual dimensions. Isn't it amazing that David saw things pertaining the new creation although he was living in the Old Testament? How did David see and see the coronation of God? The Lord said to my Lord, sit thou at my right. How did he see it? How did David know that the Holy Spirit can stay in a man? He said, cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit. How did David know that the throne of God had gates and courts? He said, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Part of the victories that we command by the Spirit came as a result of uncommon insight that were given by the Spirit. And I want to share with us that way and then we pray. There is a, there is an activity of the Holy Ghost that we need to understand. He is not just an advocate, not just a teacher, not just a strengthener. Comes from the word parakletos. But he is the revealer of the secrets of God. I need to introduce this dimension of the Holy Spirit to us. As the revealer of the secrets the Bible says but God has revealed them to us how by his spirit how does the spirit reveal it by what searching the Holy Ghost has an ability to search the mind of Christ and when he searches he finds the treasures of God that are responsible for our victory in this earth realm and then he begins to communicate these ways to us and then when we find these ways we will begin to walk therein the bible says verse 11 for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of that man he said even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit of god hallelujah but then he starts by saying something interesting he says when we are among them that are mature we speak a kind of wisdom he said it's not the hidden wisdom i mean it's not the regular wisdom the age that is governed by age and intellect and all of this hallelujah he said it's the hidden wisdom and he said when we begin to speak that hidden wisdom it will cause the spirit to begin to search follow me that every time this wisdom of the spirit is communicated there is a searching in the spirit the holy ghost begins to search and find certain things about the mind of Christ and then brings them and reveals it to those who are communicating this wisdom are you following me now the wisdom of Christ when you begin to communicate this wisdom in the spirit you are giving the Holy Ghost an opportunity to begin to search the minds of Christ 
concerning your destiny that when you begin to pray and when you begin to communicate this wisdom the spirit of god goes to the archives of your destiny and begins to find out the blueprint of god for every season and then he communicates it to you and then in obedience you begin to walk in the path of the spirit this is the secret of victory there are many people who miss out on the plan the goals the seasons of god in their lives because they do not understand how to search by the wisdom of the spirit and so tonight i'm teaching us how to access the deep things of the spirit the bible makes us to understand that god left a prayer language with the believers listen hallelujah and the concept of tongues and praying in tongues as it relates to our edification has not been understood by many people how are we edified when we pray in tongues yes we understand that we are built up we are edified but how are we edified hallelujah one of the ways we are edified is that when we pray we access the deep things that are in the mind of the father look at me you do not know by yourself the prophetic blueprint of your life i hope you know that you do not know by yourself and hear me sometimes you search the scripture but you cannot find verbatim certain revelations that are customized to your own life i don't know if you understand what i'm saying here and there you may find stories and principles that you can apply but there are certain times you come in your life where you need a customized strategy by the spirit are you following me now at that time the holy ghost goes to the mind of the father and begins to search the file and the archives of your life how did god design that you will overcome in this area and then the holy ghost searches and he comes and begins to communicate these things to you hallelujah god gives you a, a ministry and you are praying and say lord we are trusting you for increase the moment you engage in this principle in the spirit suddenly the spirit begins to search he begins to search and he finds out and delivers to you the blueprint that god has designed for you somebody else will use that same blueprint and fail because he needs a strategy by the spirit are you following me david young Cho was praying for increase the pastor of the largest church in asia was praying for increase and things were not working and as he began to search the mind of christ by the spirit god began to communicate certain things to him i'll never forget when we we're preparing for massacre crusade we had stretched ourselves uh it was three days to the crusade and we needed almost 0.8 million or something in three days we had to raise it the pfn people were calling in abuja and say send money and all of this hallelujah and because of this secret god had taught me i said lord there has to be a strategy how many of you know that every time you encounter a roadblock in your life is simply that you need a strategy until you get the strategy you will suffer and perish but when you get the strategy you will you will rise ah. and i don't care what the challenge is when the strategy comes light has come you will arise you will shine why because your light is come until the light comes you remain there and so i began to pray and as i began to pray in the spirit the holy ghost began to search and then he revealed to me a strategy and that was the strategy that we activated by the spirit and he helped us we had a successful crusade and even on the crusade ground a time came we needed some more funds and god gave us a strategy many people suffer and perish and and languish in life although they are kings they are tongue-talking people because they do not understand this dimension of the spirit as the revealer of the secrets so many people try to push through their life hoping and wishing that what they are doing will bring the desired results you want a job you just sit down and guess and say the natural thing to do is to submit cvs why will we not go to the spirit who is the revealer of the secrets search the archives of the father give me some accuracy and precision in my life are you following me now 
so that when you search the mind of the father you will understand what is the counsel of god for you and then the lord tells you just get up and go and greet brother john hold your cv on your hand it doesn't make sense but that's the spiritual strategy that the lord has are you following me now i'm teaching you how to access the deep things of god and you get up and you move like a madman and while you're walking there is a divine connection and then brother john comes with his friend and he says we are just looking for someone strategy comes from the greek word stratomai the patterns of the spirit that leads to victory hallelujah I began to seek the face of the Lord over the pros our prosperity as a ministry and I said Lord what is the strategy and then as I began to pray in tongues a scripture came to me follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise that was the strategy straight up no waste of time no beating about the bush I started finding out uh, from successful ministries what were the principles hallelujah and I stumbled across a revelation that Bishop Oedeko shared. And he hit, he struck a chord in me. He said, this ministry, he said the Lord showed him something. That the ministry tithes as a ministry. And I told the treasurer, I said, never should there be any week that we will not tithe. And I activated that revelation by reason of the strategy. Are you following me now? strategies by the spirit one time i was in port Harcourt, i'll never forget didn't have much in my account i just sat down and then i said lord bless me and lord told me give me an instruction he said go and empty your account i said lord how much is there that you want me to empty and god said just do it and do you know while i was preparing to go and empty my account when i emptied my account a few i think the next day or so 6 10 i will never forget 6 10 in the morning a stranger called me called me shaking profusely under the anointing he said is this joshua selman i said yes he said please send me your account number i said who are i told him who are you he said it's not necessary just send me your account number strategies in the spirit many people we suffer so much because we do not know the dimension of the holy spirit as the revealer of secrets the bible says that he searches the mind are you getting blessed tonight because i want us to pray there are many things we need direction for and precision for and the holy ghost is there to bring us into that reality sometimes when i want to preach i say lord what am i going to share and i just pray in tongues and as i look just praying and then suddenly light comes a scripture i've been looking at every time light comes from it and when that's why when you hear someone who knows how to access the deep things of god he will share a scripture you have been studying for years and bring a light that will let you know you you look as if you are not born again hallelujah light by the spirit this is a spiritual principle that we have all practiced strategies by the spirit strategies by the spirit strategies by the spirit everything you see us do we never do anything that we do not have a word for strategies by the spirit and let me tell you the instructions of god when they come to you is the wisdom of god they may not make sense hallelujah one day i was praying for a lady and the lord said i should tell her to lay both of her hands on my head that was a strategy for her miracle it didn't make sense however she got healed are you following me very important i'll never forget steve please come we're going to pangshin for our crusade and the car spoiled on the way remember i mean the car spoiled we did everything we could do the crusade was to start by five at about three we're still on the way can you imagine that kind of embarrassment we're angry we prayed we did everything and everybody just went to sit there everywhere we just said god i mean and then while steve sat down he began to play the mistral please can you play this good old mistral that's brought us a lot of things strategies by the spirit suddenly god gave me a strategy and brown i'll never forget at once we got angry in our spirits 
and all of us, everybody, enter the car. They are all witnesses. Enter the car. And that's how we had, the driver had been trying to keep. Steve just started playing. And he didn't stop playing. And we all started praying in tongues. And we told the driver he wasn't a believer. So just do whatever we tell you to do. Now keep this car. Strategies. He tried kicking. We just kick this car. And then he kicked the car that had. We did everything we could do. And the car started suddenly. And that's how we drove that car. Right to the crusade crowd. See, let me tell you. When you know how to access the wisdom of the spirit. You will never be in a position. Where you don't know the way to come out. That's why the Bible says, for we know that all things. A believer can never be disadvantaged. Because at every time, T, there is a way to access the strategy of the spirit that can turn everything, good or bad, in the realm of the spirit, it makes no difference. God can multiply by a factor that will work out for your good. Hallelujah. We're going to massacre for our crusade. And I said, Lord, how will a young man like me stand before the PFN in Abuja and talk to them about a crusade? You know how many of you who are pastors know how controversial all of these meetings can be. People say, you have come to establish a church in our place. I've all you, these small boys. You know, and so on and so forth. But then God gave me a strategy. When he gave me the strategy, I went. Manasseh is my witness. I met the PFN as a corporate body only once. And these people began to run their lives to death to organize this crusade. Many of them, old enough to be my father. They went out of their ways to do things. And when many of them saw me, I mean the whole ENI team when we came, and they looked at me wearing jeans, some of them were angry. I said, you mean, is this small boy that is me? It's not about me. For when you find the strategy, your age, your size, whether you can speak English or not, is totally irrelevant. Because when it is established in the heavens, nothing will stop it in this realm. Hallelujah. It's time for us to begin to rule. It's time for us to begin to reign. Hallelujah. Every time you see me preach, and then I sing, and then I preach, and then I sing, you know why? That was a strategy that was revealed to me. When I began to seek God, and when He began to walk in me, God told me, Son, this is going to be your strategy. And so the anointing came and caused me to begin to walk in that way. And it has become a pattern. Are you following me, please? Strategies. I hail you most high. The clash of the Simba. Many of you find out that I love the clash of the Simba. Because it was a spiritual strategy that was given. I found out about the Davidic order of worship. The patterns that David followed to access the heart of God. And I saw he said, praise him with the ten stringed instrument. Praise him with the clash of the simba. I truly hail you most high. I hate you most high. I said, Lord, grant me a supernatural ability that I will never lack words to speak in due season. I said, Lord, what is the spiritual pattern? What dimension of the spirit is responsible for that operation? And then the Lord took me to Psalms 45. My heart is in in a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. It says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. And from that day, what the Bible calls the gift of utterance came upon me. The ability to communicate spiritual things. To compare spiritual things. Spiritual.
Hallelujah. I told God something. I said, Lord, grant me grace. So I don't run into trouble and live an immoral life and do all of these things. I said, Lord, I'm a young man. What's the way forward? And as I prayed, the Lord gave me a revelation. Hallelujah. He gave me a revelation from his word. He said, now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. Jude 24 has only one chapter. And light came from that scripture. It was a strategy. Many times when I talk to ladies, I tease them and I say, if not because of that scripture, maybe I'll have children that will fool your luxurious hostel. But there is a strategy. The Bible says, how can a young man keep his way pure? He said, by meditating on the law of the Lord. Hallelujah. Accessing the deep things of God. By praying in the spirit. That every time you begin to pray in the spirit, what happens? The Holy Ghost begins to search. The Bible says, he searches the mind. And begins to that's how do you know that that's how many that's how many people in the world write songs by divination hallelujah they listen to yani or under the influence of all kinds of things and the demonic spirit starts searching and he searches the new trend of music that will happen in the next five years and brings it and reveals it to michael jackson and all of these people and then they begin to sing it and they open up the new trend that's how the holy spirit can search things the holy spirit who sees the future will search things and give you instructions now that will not make sense but as you walk you will find out that you are walking in the wisdom of the are you listening to me when the woman came and met the prophet he gave her a strategy he said what do you have in your house and the woman said nothing except the cruise of oil he said quickly go and borrow vessels borrow not a few are you following me now we must know how to access the things of the spirit never try to do things in the spirit without the word of god and the voice of god giving you the strategy you will fail no matter how it looks like it's working he said the spirit searching all things yea the deep things of god and we are going to pray right now we are going to say lord as i begin to pray in tongues such deep things concerning my destiny many of us need deep things concerning the new levels of our lives many of us need it concerning our finances our, and our businesses stop beating around the bush search for the strategies of the spirit rise up on your feet we are going to be praying in tongues as you pray in tongues pray with the understanding that the Holy Ghost is manifesting himself tonight as the revealer of secrets the Holy Ghost has given people names of streets where they met managers, directors that were linked to the next levels of their life go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit Take it serious inside and outside. Inside and outside. But the Holy Ghost has made these things known. Such, such the Spirit of God. The counsel of the Father concerning our lives our finances our businesses go ahead and pray in the spirit concerning your ministry such pray in the spirit it's an intelligence of the spirit the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. My sheep hear my voice. Come on, pray. You are 
the spirit. Receive strategies that will change your life, that will make you a wonder. Hallelujah. 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 Listen to me. I watched a, a program on it, Supernatural, Sid Roth, interviewing John Hunter. And they shared the story of a woman who had been trusting God for the finances of their family. They had done everything they knew how to do. Hallelujah. And then she went to the Lord and she prayed. And the Lord caused her to sleep. When she slept, she saw an optical design. You know, something about medicine, just optics. And when she, she got up with that same revelation and she drew it. I follow me now. And she took it to the hospital. Just casually. And then she showed the consultants. And when they looked at it, they were all amazed. And they looked at her. They said, where did you get this? She said she found it from her dream. I follow me now. And then they looked at it. They said they had been researching to solve the problem that that optical design brought. And they said for starters, they gave her right there and then $20 million. A check of $20 million as a result of receiving a strategy from the Spirit. I have seen an evil upon the sun that servants are riding on horses while the prince is walk afoot. He said you will die like men men and fall like one of these princes. Hallelujah. Strategies. Some of the songs that we sing here, they are strategies. You just pray in tongues and you lie down and sleep and suddenly you hear the melodies of heaven. Hallelujah. So praying in tongues is not just a symbol of Pentecostalism. It gives an opportunity to engage the Holy Ghost to begin to search mysteries about your life. I challenge you this week, write out the areas of your life where you trust God for wisdom, for direction, for breakthrough, and begin to allow the Holy Spirit to search out for strategies. Are you listening to me? Strategies by the Spirit. Jacob had a strategy, and his 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 cattle were, were even more than that of Laban. Strategies by the Spirit. Joseph had went to the Lord and lifted the threat letter and cried and God gave him a strategy. He said, this is the strategy. Let the worshippers be in front. I'm giving you a strategy. Don't use another one. It will not work. The Holy Ghost searches the mind of the Father. He says, this is the strategy. Customized to bring you this unique victory. Can I tell you something? A strategy may work for you today. It will not work tomorrow. That's why you never assume on the Holy Spirit that at every time T, you seek him to find out strategy. That's why Jesus told someone, get up, take your mat. And then to another person, he spat on the ground. What was he doing? Receiving strategies. While it is yet morning, he will retreat and go and travel and allow the Spirit to search. And then when they brought vessels, he said, fill them with water, go and serve the people. What kind of thing is that? strategies by the spirit when he was delayed in his life he was praying and praying and praying and the holy ghost after praying he got up received the strategy and started walking on water walked on water and caught up with the people i am convinced hear me friends if you receive a strategy from the lord you will reign in this life are you ready to pray now say lord my spirit is open for my job, for my life, go ahead and pray. Leka parato sataya, radeka basi kete baladabasha. Oh, there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. Let the spirit search. We cannot know the way until you reveal it to us. The spirit of God. There is a way for your finances. There is a way for your life, for your destiny your promotion, for your increase. There is a way. Let the Spirit search the deep things of God. 
strategy we receive from God, the season has not come yet. So, no matter what motivation someone brings, we'll say thank you. When you hear God, you will know how to say thank you to opportunities that open but are not of God. Not every open door is anointed, friends. Are you listening to me? When I began to search for the venue for Koinonia, I was praying by the Spirit. I love praying because I know the Lord will shock me with a new strategy. I had a list of many ministries that I wrote. And as soon as I was praying, I was just praying. And then I had in my spirit CGC. I saw written CGC. That was it. No struggle, no nothing. I said, Lord, how will this happen? And then we went to Prof's house. And God connected us through Prof. And we have this venue today. What you see today is a brainchild of the strategies of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The voice of God will end sorrow in your life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Believe this. It's God's provision for you. When you find yourself in a crossroad, stop trying. If you could help, you would not be in the crossroad in the first place. And so trust the Spirit. Take on the wisdom of the Spirit. Begin to pray. Many of us just pray because we want to feel electrified. And then we fall down and then we get up. No. Every time I pray, I pray with excitement. Because I say, just give me room. Let me pray. I tell them every time in the leaders meeting. Whenever we are speaking and there is a situation, I say, no. Let's pray about it. Oh, for when I go to him in the secret, the Holy Ghost will search. He and I, 
initializing 2011 November what is the prophetic blueprint and then the Holy Spirit says son this is what you do and then when God tells us what to do whether we like it or not we are going to do it it's not about your feelings it's about his word hallelujah when they were building Canaan land they had fixed all the doors and everything and they found out that there was an adjustment they needed to do in the auditorium hallelujah and the, 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 the truck that they would push in would not enter because and all the architects with their intellect and everything they said we have to break this door Oedeko said no don't break any door and he went and locked himself and began to pray and when he prayed he came out he said here's the strategy puncture the tire push it in pump it back simple strategies by the spirit is it amazing how we suffer again and again until the strategy of the spirit comes that's what we do sometimes when we are ministering you see us do foolish things we can just say the holy spirit says shout jesus strategy that's the kind of me that's why you see for every case there is a wisdom of the spirit that guides and all we keep doing is worshiping until the voice comes you can't guess and assume you will be disappointed we wait on him until his voice comes and then the lord begins to move and says let the people shout jesus three times and then we shout jesus and we ourselves are amazed seeing the wonders yeah. hallelujah lord i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that from tonight they will learn to pray in the spirit until that voice comes receive the quickening grace of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ receive the quickening grace of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ i speak it into your life i prophesy it into your life receive it in the name of jesus the ability to stay until you hear divine direction from god you will tap into the wisdom of the spirit you want to go and preach somewhere and they say preach on greatness just say ah greatness i know the scripture why do you know the scripture you begin to pray this is our secret let me tell you something a prayerless christian is truly a powerless christian and then a christian that prays amiss is also a suffering christian because you pray for hours i see people pray and fast and fast and fast and pray for hours but they pray are missed, beating about the bush, not knowing the ways and the path of the Spirit. Have you learned something tonight? Hallelujah. So throughout this week, this is the assignment now. Write it. You're going to list all the areas of your life that you are trusting God for victories and breakthroughs. And you will lock yourself somewhere and pray. Put worship song. Hallelujah. And pray in the Spirit until you pray with your Bible in your hand. Because oftentimes the Lord will communicate. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.